Hey guys, and welcome back to another unsponsored, brutally honest Gymshark review. If you're new here, my name is Catherine. I am not affiliated with Gymshark. Got all of this with all of my own money. And today we're reviewing a specific like category of Gymshark things. So recently in the past like year or so, maybe a little longer, Gymshark has been coming out with like slightly more affordable stuff. Shirts, shorts, leggings, things in general that are more like in like the $30 range, maybe even less. When I would say most of their leggings are like 50-ish dollars. So this is definitely more affordable than a lot of their stuff and they've kind of been moving in this direction. It's not like they just discounted the price of most of their already like standing items. They created like new lines under the brand Gymshark that are more affordable, like the Pulse collection, the training collection. And this is definitely appealing to a wider audience and I definitely like that they are lowering prices rather than raising prices, which I feel like most brands do after a while. But I have tried some of their training stuff in the past, specifically like the training leggings. And I do still think that you're paying for the Gymshark logo because there are plenty of $20 leggings out there that are great quality that I think are better quality than like $30 Gymshark leggings. So I still feel like they're kind of riding on the Gymshark name, still making things like more affordable, but I definitely feel like the quality is being cut a little bit at the same time. So I got a ton of stuff. So we're going to see if that's true, if the quality is really still there or what's going on. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get into the review. So first we have these Gymshark Essential Loose Training Shorts. And these are $20. When I first took these out of the bag, I was like, this is it. Like it is one thin layer of short, like just like no lining, no anything and the fabric is like truly like super thin, kind of like crepe papery feeling. It's just not like what screams workout material to me. The waistband also feels like a little bit stiff, like definitely stretchy because it has an elastic in it. And just holding this up to the light, you can see the tags right through this yellow color. And Gymshark is just famous for making sheer yellow things and I don't know why people will get buying them. So these are a size small. I got everything in a size small, kind of my normal Gymshark size. And you can just see this fabric is like, just like pretty thin kind of, I don't know, doesn't really feel like super workout fabric-y. It's not necessarily like a, you know, ch -ch type fabric, but anyways, let's try these on. Okay, so you know that like meme or maybe it's just like a TikTok that it's like, they can't keep getting away with this. That's exactly how I feel about Gymshark and sheer clothing because these are so thin. Lightly press the shorts on the side and you can completely see the tag all the way through. These are so thin and so sheer. I'm sorry, if, I don't know if these are $20, but you could find a better option for $5 at like Walmart or Target, to be quite honest. Like they don't have any sort of lining. They don't have any double thickness. I'm wearing nude underwear right now, but I guarantee you any other color underwear that I wore under these, you could see everything. Are they lightweight? Like maybe a good option for summer? Sure, but I just think there's a lot of better short options out there. I like the kind of like scooped detail on the side. They fit decently well. Like they're not like too tight anywhere for being a size small. I just feel like these are gonna be super sheer and I don't enjoy that. They're pretty short and I honestly don't really wear loose style shorts like this. Uh, they're not really a thing, but um, yeah, these are, these are gonna be a no for me. They're a little softer than I expected, like not horrible, but they're just pretty short and I'd worry about like flashing and um, this just like is not okay. Oh my gosh, I can literally read Gymshark through the tag. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But how does this get past production? Next, I got a slightly more expensive pair of shorts. These are $30. They're the Gymshark Fit Seamless Shorts. These kind of remind me of like OG Gymshark with the very logo heavy waistband. And they're definitely more of like a Nike Pro style short than like I don't know, more current active wear short. Personally, this isn't like my favorite style of short, but I'm not totally against them and I'm open to them being decent. So they look like they have about a four inch inseam. They're not gonna be like your longest shorts. And they have one of those kind of like stiff elastic waistbands, which tends to either be too big or too small and also tends to cut in, but they're also very secure. And it does have a silicone lining on the inside of the waistband, so they should stay put really well. And I really like the shade of neon green here. The body of the shorts is just kind of like a classic seamless fabric, polyamide elastane blend, nothing crazy. And they have an extended crotch gusset that just goes down the shorts. So let's try these on. All right, so are these my style? No, they're good for what they are, which is kind of like a Nike Pro style short. They're definitely like a mid rise and this kind of uh, waistband 
isn't always the most flattering, like it can very easily cut into you. We'll just do like a quick little sit test. And yeah, like it definitely like cuts in at the sides, but that's what you're gonna get from this like very thick elastic type waistband. I do really like how it has this little silicone lining on the inside so that it doesn't slide down. Like it is going to stay in place pretty well. I think if they put the silicone there, maybe they should have put it on the inside of the legs too, just because these are just like a four inch inseam. So they will probably have the tendency to roll up a little bit. Let's do my infamous marches. Okay, they're actually staying in place pretty well. Some squats. Okay, okay, you know. They're, they're actually not rolling up too bad. Did they ride up just a tad? Yes, but most shorts do. They may squish my legs a little bit at the bottom, but it's honestly like not crazy. And the base material is actually like pretty stretchy and pretty soft. While I don't really like how shorts like this look on me, if you are someone who likes these like solid waistband shorts, then I think they're actually not bad. They're definitely like a maybe medium compression, um, hard to say about shorts. True to size and not getting a lot of gathering. I also don't recommend sizing up in things with a waistband like this because as soon as the waistband gets loose, it just looks weird. So you really do need it to be snug. Next, we got the Gymshark Pulse Mesh T-shirt, also in a size small, and this one is $20. Definitely an affordable shirt, just kind of your classic like boxy shape crop top. And it's pretty basic. It's made of pretty lightweight mesh material and has the Gymshark logo down the side here. And feels like it'll be pretty lightweight for summer. It doesn't have like the most stretch to it, I'd say. Yeah, it has very minimal stretch. Probably not like a ton of spandex in it if it has a tag. Okay, it's actually 100% polyester, so there's really no spandex to it. So it's not the stretchiest shirt, but it looks to be more of a relaxed fit anyway. Let's try it on. All right, so here's this little crop. I think you can get away with having a lighter color like this if it's going to be in a top form, because if it's a little sheer, which this one you can see the color of like my pink sports bra underneath, it's just like a shirt, like you're gonna be wearing a, like a sports bra underneath, so it's not really a big deal. I think the length is pretty nice. I'm wearing kind of like mid-rise shorts, and they hit basically to the top of them. Um, definitely gonna show a little bit if you raise your arms, but also I have a very long torso. I could see this being a nice little like light layer in the summer just to wear, like especially if you're like on a walk or something and you wanna keep like the sun off of you a little bit. It's made of like a pretty thin mesh material that's definitely not going to be like super warm, doesn't seem to be intended for that, but might be pretty sweat friendly. It kind of feels like those like old like pennies that we used to wear in like PE class. I don't know if other people used to call those that, but they were like those like mesh type like shirts that you just kind of threw on so you could like determine which team you were on. I'm sure someone identifies with this, but that's kind of what this reminds me of to me. Like if you asked me how much this was, I would probably guess that it was like you know, 10 to $15, which I think it's more than that. But anyway, the logo actually feels pretty decent. It's like a thicker Gymshark logo actually. So I don't think it would fall off pretty easily. Oh, Peach. Usually Pinto comes in and bothers us, but we miss you. You're the star of the show. Okay, she's like sleeping in my arms again. I almost would have liked if this was like a little more sheer. So it would be like a mesh style top that you could like totally see the sports bra color underneath. But I don't think this one's bad. Okay, and I totally forgot that I actually got a pair of leggings and I thought these were the training leggings, but they're actually the Pulse leggings. So I have tried the training leggings in the past and they weren't horrible, but I just really wouldn't recommend them if you're looking for an affordable pair of leggings. I would really go for something else. But these are the Pulse leggings, so slightly different. And they are $35. I guess they only had cropped ones online because I got cropped and I don't like cropped leggings, but that's not gonna factor into my review here because that's my fault for getting cropped leggings. And they actually double lined it because it is a white fabric. So those tend to be kind of see-through. So I would hope that these would be maybe a little more opaque than some other white leggings because they are double lined. And I guess like this mesh theme is a big thing with the Pulse collection because it has like mesh inserts on the bottom of the legs. These just don't really feel like a very like modern piece of like athletic clothing for me. Oh, they have even more mesh on the back of the waistband here. I don't know, this just isn't like the most cute style ever. They also have a seam at the top of their waistband, which is like three years ago, we got rid of that seam at this point, maybe even before that. So I don't know why Gymshark's still doing that. Oh no, oh, oh no, oh. Oh my gosh, the seams are literally coming undone. Oh my gosh, I'm literally barely pulling the seams, it's just coming undone. I hope you can see this, cause it's white. 
that this whole string is just coming undone. And I just pull it like a little bit, barely even pulled it. And this whole string is coming undone. See, this is what I mean when I say that the cheaper Gymshark leggings don't have very great quality. They literally are falling apart before I even wore them. So not a great look. All right, uh, let's try these on. Oh no, not another one. I don't know if you, ugh. I hope this isn't like too bright. I'm gonna turn off my ring light for this. Yeah, so that's the tag right there. I'm pretty sure they even double lined. This is double lined white and it's still sheer. Don't make light colors anymore. It's not good for anyone. And I just would like to say just because a pair of leggings isn't $50 doesn't mean it has to be cheap and poor quality. There are so many leggings on Amazon, AliExpress, other websites that make excellent quality leggings for like 10 to 20 to 30 dollars that you don't have to settle for poor quality leggings like this and this is why sometimes when i see people wearing like all Gymshark all the time. I'm like, you know there's better quality stuff out there, right? And not to say that all Gymshark stuff is bad quality. I think their more expensive leggings are better quality, but this is just not it. First of all, name like another activewear company on Instagram that still has the seam at the top of the leggings. Like we have been without this top seam for like three years now and they're still doing it here. We also have a front seam, um, not really causing any problems. These are super compressive because they're a double thickness. I also didn't really realize that these were capri and you guys, I just, I hate capris. That's nothing against these. Like this is my fault. I got these, but um, they just accentuate the fact that my calves are um, gigantic. So yeah, not, not a huge fan of that. Also when I was getting these on and like every time I bend down, I hear the stitches like crackling, which doesn't always mean something's gonna rip. Like I will say, it doesn't always mean that. It just is a little unsettling. Every time I move, the stitches do that. A low on the booty scale. This just goes way too far down for me. It's squishing down my butt. It's giving me total unibutt like no separation of the glutes. It's sheer, like we can see the tag in here. It also has like this weird like mesh layer over the top of the waistband to kind of tie it in with the bottom of these. I also just totally miss the fact that these have like all this mesh at the bottom. Yeah, it's just like, it's not it for me. I also just feel like a lot of the stitching is like a little bit fuzzy, like especially on the bottom here. Like that's just like some extra fabric, just like some quality control stuff. That's not what I like to see. So yeah, these might actually be one of the uh, worst leggings I've tried in a while. And like, I really truly mean that. Maybe it's because they're white. Maybe it's because of this awful mesh. Sometimes it's like better to not make a pair of leggings at all if they're gonna be bad. Like if Gymshark just made like their nicer leggings, I just think that'd be better. Like I understand the point of these. Okay, um, moving on. <laughs> Literally making cracking sounds, guys. Next, I got another pair of the training loose fit shorts. These ones seem like a little bit of a step up to the yellow ones. They're also $5 more at $25. I will say, I think that the extra $5 is worth it because these ones definitely feel like there's like a little more like thought put into the design of them. Thick elastic waistband with, I would say like it's still bold branding, but it's all gray, so it's not crazy. This one is a little more of like that, like, you know, material. I know that's not a real name, but I think you guys understand. And there's also like one of those little inserts on the side and kind of creates like that little, I don't know, scoopiness at the leg. And I feel like these are going to be a little less sheer than the yellow ones. And the quality and feel of this one just feels like a little bit better than the last one. So straight on. All right, we got another little single layer short situation. These definitely feel a little bit more high quality than the yellow shorts. For a start, we have one of these waistbands, which I feel like it's a little big on me, but maybe I'm supposed to wear it lower, but then the crotch is saggy. So maybe it just runs a hair big, which isn't the end of the world for a pair of loose shorts. This one also has the silicone lining, so the shorts aren't gonna go anywhere. Generally, I don't really think that loose shorts like this slide off very easily, but it's a nice touch. The print is okay, kind of reminds me of like OG Nike shorts. I definitely have one in a similar print to this. And I feel like this one has maybe a little more length than the yellow shorts as well. There's still like absolutely no lining inside though. So you're not gonna get any protection from like flashing anyone or anything. These ones aren't gonna have a problem being sheer because this is just like a darker fabric. And these ones also have like a little insert to have like a little more extra space. I think these are like nice as far as like casual running shorts go. They definitely feel like a step up from the yellow ones. The material is a little more of that like sleeky, slidey material rather than kind of like a thinner, meshy thing. So yeah, these aren't bad. I just have to ask you guys, do you like 
waistbands like this because generally I feel like they get this little like, I don't know, wavy thing. They're always either too tight or too loose. Like I've never found one that fits me perfectly on the waist. So comment down below your thoughts on this type of waistband. Next, I got the Gymshark Pulse crop top in the color coral on the screen. I don't know if this is gonna show up on the computer, but it turns out very orange. It's definitely like more of like a pinky, hot pink coral situation. So this is $30. That's kind of surprising to me that this is like more expensive than the crop top, which doesn't really feel that much better to me. Overall, this just doesn't really feel like the best workout material ever. I also just think it's kind of an interesting design with like the straps in the front and then they split into these little stretchy elastic straps in the back and then they have a mesh lining at the bottom and it doesn't really feel super stretchy. Yep, 100% polyester again, so it's not gonna have any stretch to it. And it kind of looks like the front is longer than the back. So it's, it's definitely a very cropped top and you're gonna have to wear a bra under this. I can't imagine a bra would hide super well under this either, but let's try it on. Am I wearing this backwards or something. I don't know if I'm wearing this backwards, but I don't love this. Wearing a size small and it's just like kind of awkwardly tight up here and like, I don't know, it feels like it's sitting a little high on me and then it's like super cropped and just kind of like flares out like this in a weird way. It's also like shorter in like the back than it is the front and I feel like it looks a little funny, like it doesn't necessarily look intentional and I don't know. It has a little bit of stretch to it, I guess. It's not like the best material. It's another one that definitely seems like pretty sheer, which I guess it's fine for tops to be a little bit sheer. The logo down the side, and then we just got some strappiness in the back. I really love it. I'm not like loving the style. If you like neon, is it like an okay option? Yeah, I don't think there's anything like really wrong with it. I just think it looks a little funny on me personally. It's just not really my favorite top. I guess I would say true to size. Um, maybe size up in between, but it does have a little bit of stretch to it. Next, I got the Pulse Mid-Rise Shorts. These are $35, a little more expensive. These are kind of like your similar looser running style short. They seem to have a lot of these on the website right now. Again, they're not like my go-to style of short, but I know people like these. This one has kind of like a ruched elastic detail in the front of the shorts. Originally, I thought that was supposed to be the back. And these ones do have a full short lining. The shorts are like a total mesh on the inside. So you are gonna get those double layers, which I think having the double layers is good for a white short or else there'd be like a chance for it being see-through. Very bold logoing here. They just, they can't stop with the logoing. Kind of looks like the inside shorts, like the little lining shorts are going to go longer than the loose part, which I don't really like when the shorts are kind of like sticking out the bottom. I just think it looks kind of funny to me, but let's try these on. All right. Uh, these are, these are interesting. I was very confused trying them on because the like elasticy part is in the front and like the back is all like flat. Flat. And for some reason I thought it'd be the other way around, but I mean like this is fine These are also a size small and they're very tight in the leg part like, you know Probably couldn't have sized down there, but in the waist they are um, quite spacious We could fit another of me in here. I like the concept of these ones again I think they're like a little nicer than even the last shorts. So maybe like the best quality of all of the like looser running shorts. I do like the idea of having a lining so that you don't like flash anyone. And that also helps because these are white and because of the lining, I don't think that they're see-through. So I like that. The logo also feels like a more high quality kind of vinyl press on. Feels like the type that'll stay there. The inside's made of a mesh material, kind of similar to the yellow top that we're trying today. Overall, I just don't think the sizing on these is great. Obviously, like all bodies are different. So maybe someone with like slightly smaller legs, slightly bigger waist would be able to fit into this kind of short. And while I like the lining, I don't necessarily like being able to see it so easily. Like the lining is basically longer than the outside of the short. So you are gonna see it quite easily. Not a huge fan of that. I also just feel like they look kind of weird. Like they just look like a skirt over shorts. I don't know, I, something, something's up with these. Next we have the Gymshark Animal Graphic Tank. Do I love this style? <laughs> No, it kind of feels like a cottony material. I kind of thought it would be more like the seamless material of the leggings because I used to love when Gymshark had like the vital tops in the vital seamless legging material. So I kind of assumed that this would be the same material as the animal seamless leggings. And I just don't think it is. Yeah, this is like a cotton elastane and I'm pretty sure that the leggings are like a polyester elastane. So just cotton, but it does have a little stretch to it. I also don't think this is the exact same animal print material or I also just don't think this is the exact same animal print as the leggings, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't have the like zebra-ish print animal leggings with me. Just kind of your classic tank shape. And this one is $20. So pretty affordable for Gymshark tops. 
let's try it on. All right, so like the purple uh, tiger print has just transported me back to like Justice Limited 2, like circa like 2004. I just, you know, it's just, it's it's not for me in 2021. It's just, it's just not. Um, I think the shirt is fine overall. I like the material, nice and stretchy. Um, it is lined with purple on the inside. So if you like stretch out the print, it's gonna be like purple, not white. So I appreciate that. Just the classic kind of the cheap press on logo right here. The one that we all know eventually peels off after like a couple washes. Just a classic tank shape, nothing super special about it. The fit is a little weird for me. Uh, it's a size small, very snug on my chest area and then quite loose in the rest of the top. And I'd kind of prefer it to either be like all kind of loose or maybe like all tight, like choose one you know i think they had this in like the black and white tiger print which is like a little more neutral a little more like something that i might actually wear but i just feel like even wearing this with like the matching animal print leggings in this color would just be like a lot of purple animal print but you know to each their own back is very basic just kind of your regular tank straps another little gymshark logo back here and i don't know as i'm wearing it like these straps are kind of getting like a little loose up here it's just not fitting me super great i think the material is a definite pro nice lightweight stretchy but the design just like not for me and lastly i think we might be saving the best for last but i saw this training zip up jacket on the website and i just thought this would be cute this one's 45 dollars, but because the training series tends to be a little more affordable i decided to include it in this video it's made of a polyester elastane so it is more of like an actual athletic material very stretchy i wouldn't call it brushed but it still is pretty soft it feels kind of cottony to the touch but definitely has a good amount of stretch to it little mock neck it's a full zip has zippered pockets and i just thought that this looked like a solid little zip up jacket $45 isn't horrible for a jacket so let's try it on all right so here is the training jacket and I actually think I like this a lot one of my all-time favorite things that I've ever tried from Gymshark is their vital seamless little like quarter zip pullover thing I think they do like a really good job with like their jackets and like stretchy pullover things sometimes at least from the ones I've tried I really liked that in the past this one isn't like as affordable as the other things we're reviewing today mostly everything else was like you know 20 to 30 dollars this one is 45 but I think for like a zip up jacket like this compared to other brands definitely more affordable can can you find jackets like this on Amazon for like 30-ish? Yeah, but if you're really interested in a Gymshark jacket or you like the colors, this is a nice color. These definitely run big in basically every other brand that I've tried a zip-up jacket. I'm always a size small and I may occasionally size up to a medium if I want it to be a more relaxed fit. This is a size small and this fits me like most other size medium jackets do. So um, I think you could probably size down but if you get your normal like shirt size just know it might be a little bit on the relaxed fit side it has a pretty nice zipper it zips all the way up into a little mock neck and i have to say i'm not a huge fan of hoods so i like that this is just like kind of like a little turtle mock neck situation and not a big hood because sometimes hoods just get in the way and let's be honest how often are you putting on a hood like i just what are hoods even for you even have one of the little zipper protectors at the top so it's not gonna like cut into your neck up here so i love that the material is very soft it's not brushed or anything but it still is like smooth soft and stretchy again just your classic little logo i saw the other day someone posted in my facebook group that they got a men's gymshark sweatshirt and it was actually like embroidered the gymshark logo i'm like why do the men get embroidered logos when women probably care way more about having an embroidered logo like at least i care about logos you have pretty spacious pockets down here they're also zip pockets so i love that and even like the zipper color matches the jacket so all very cohesive not much going on in the back the sleeves are definitely snug but they're stretchy so they don't feel too tight and they're also long enough even for your girl who's got pretty pretty long arms and pretty tall um the only thing the only thing there's no thumb holes that is almost a deal breaker for me because not only do i like thumb holes but i like when they have the hand pockets that you can kind of fold over and keep your hands warm on like your walks and runs um i say runs i don't run but you know this isn't the most affordable thing we're talking about today but i actually do like this one a lot is it the best zip up jacket i think you can find for 40 to 45 dollars 
no, but it's a good option. All right, that's it for the video, guys. And I think it was pretty clear, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, the decreased price of these like more affordable Gymshark items just don't have the best quality. Like I don't trust these. The fact that those leggings were like coming apart at the seams before I even like tried them on. That's just kind of a red flag for me. And I just didn't think the styles were quite as cute. The fit shorts and maybe the training jacket I thought were nice, but everything else just like kind of missed for me. And this is why I struggle with Gymshark sometimes because I just think it's a little strange for a brand to have like two drastically different price points of clothing on the same website. And then like, it's just definitely a hit down in quality for the cheaper stuff. Not that I think their quality is always like 100% great, but I've had decent luck with Gymshark quality overall. So I don't know, leave me a comment down below. Have you tried any of these? Did you have a different experience, same experience? Give the video a thumbs up if you made it this far and subscribe if you're not already and turn on the bell. Then you'll know when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.